Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jub of the Nubs Gang playing some more Hogwarts Legacy. In the last episode, we were bombarded at the end of it with a bunch of uh, quests that we were to follow up on. One of those was talking to Abby about upgrading our broom. And then the other one was regarding the uh, moon incident uh, with the demigises. Apparently, there's some follow-up there. So we're going to do both those today, see what them all about. Um, let's just get right into it. I'm ready for a new Hello broom. again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special oh. price on the broom upgrade for you. An enhancement that significantly increases your broom's acceleration and speed. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Do I have to do a quest? I thought I'd do a quest here. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumors of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. Yeah, I've, I've, I've fought a bunch of them in my time. They're not really that scary. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find a Melda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. I see what you did <laughs> Do there. Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. Yeah, you just said that, man. So, what do I have to do? Speak to Imelda Rise. Perhaps I could test out my new upgrade on the way. Oh, I will. Don't you worry about it. Is she the one who... That we've had this rivalry with, the Slytherin girl who likes to fly really fast. I don't know. Let's see if this is really faster. Um, can't say that I'm seeing a difference here. Is it really that much faster? I don't understand why I can't just fly over these mountains. Obviously, I can get the height. I better be able to fly over this thing, otherwise I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm in trouble. Is this literally on the side of the map that I haven't explored? I think it is. It's down here in the south. And I think I have to go through a tunnel to get there. It's getting a little bit more exciting than I thought it was going to be. Oh, there's a troll in armor. Okay, let's just try to avoid that and go straight for the tunnel if I can help it. Reminds me of the time I nearly fell out of a car. Can I fly it? Ah, dang it. Thought I found a way around it. What is this place? Is this underneath the mountain? Hmm. Does not appear to be guarded. Oh, there are bogeys. Dang, these guys are strong, too. Kind of knocked him off the edge. Is the other guy dead? I guess he died. Okay. This place is a... It's a mine, maybe? But it looks like it was a train track at one point. I, I don't know what this is. Is this break off? Yes, it is. A gray nightcap. What is a gray nightcap doing <laughs> over there? Looks like we got a boss symbol over here. Maybe I'm gonna have to fight like a mini boss or something. Oh boy. What is going on? I can't see. This guy's just flying over the map. Is this the boss? Are you the boss guy? Oh yeah. Obert the Odd. I didn't even realize there's a boss symbol up there. I was just too busy fighting these little guys. Blood's on Ranrock's hands. 
Um, and their... Okay. It's gonna say their blood is on our hands, but he just said it's on Ranrock, so... But we killed him. Ranrock didn't. Just want them to know that. What the heck? There's so many, like, intriguing little secrets and detours, possibly. But I think I'm going the right way here. I'm looking at the mini-map. Oh, no, I'm not. Just getting a bunch of gloves. Yeah, that's, that's what I need. All right. That was not worth my time. But how was I to know? Once we unlock the flu flame on the other side, we'll, we'll never have to do this again. Um, so it's just a one-time incident, hopefully. Oh, here we go. Now we're in uncharted territories. I've never been here before. Oh my gosh, look at this. This map is huge. I've only been stuck on the north side the entire time. Oh, I hear... Uh, Rebellion. Where is... There it is. Antique compass. Unfortunately, the fact that this antique muggle compass was dropped here means that the muggle who dropped it is probably wandering through Wales by now. And where are we? Are we in England? Assuming? Oh, I don't know. Pop all these balloons. Oh, is it? Okay, I don't see any snow here. I've been getting annoyed that it's been eternally winter for so long. It looks like we get some greenery here in the Southlands. What is this thing? Oh, we got a lander. Or whatever you want to call this thing. A landing platform. Aha. Uh -huh. I wonder if there's any secrets in these waters. Sometimes there's caves hidden around here, but I mean, you'll see it on the mini-map. Like little whirlpools you can swim in and get clothes. That's pretty much the only thing that you're awarded with in this game is clothes. Uh, or wand handle cosmetics. So, it's cool, but after a while it kind of gets old. Oh, we got another landing. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. I might as well hit this... Hit this little dungeon here, which is going to give me exactly what I said it would. Which is just closed. Where, how do I get in exactly? Aha! Akio. Run here and I'm probably going to get, let's see. Let's take a little guess here. I think it's going to be a pair of glasses, which I don't even wear. Whoa, what the heck? It's a little bit more intricate than the usual dungeon. And this thing can take a beating. What exactly am I supposed to do here? Guess the right combination. Oh, there's a giant spider behind that wall. Uh, okay. So why are only some of them blue? Is there the ones I'm supposed to go after? Right? Probably. Revelio. Accio. Yep. Pair of glasses? No, a duelist attire. Okay. Uh is it change? How do I get these ones to open? Accio. Is that an empty cell? Oh, that's just a spider. That's great. Yeah, I really wanted to open this one up. Dang, that guy kind of thing. Got wrecked. Okay, you know what? 
I'm done with this place. I ain't playing any more spiders. They're making us go so far to race this girl. This better be worth it. I want an even faster broom. Please tell me there's a flu flame here. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Ravenclaw, over here. Revelio. Yeah, give me a second. I just want to make sure that there's a flu flame. So I don't have to fly all the way over here again. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whatever. Whatever, lady. I'll talk to you. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive. Not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the you effort. You could have just said you appreciate it. Actually, thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated <laughs> really? by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <laughs> anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. Yeah, well, you said that twice before, and I've already beat you. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. Get ready to lose, Ravenclaw. All right, Slytherin. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is definitely faster. I can feel the acceleration difference now. Brilliant flying, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I know. Oh! That was just for uh, added Brilliant. drama. As long as I don't miss, ah! I'll be fine. Jeez, it's really hard, especially playing a controller. I feel like I have less control. Oh, I want those balloons. They're trying to tempt me. See what they're doing here? Made it. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, I'm gonna destroy her time. She stands no chance. Are you kidding me, Melda? This is the best you got? Talk all that smack? Okay, I'm definitely slowing down now. This is going well. That's more like it. All right, calm down there, Jack. You haven't won yet. Although, I think there's a... I mean, something would have to go very wrong for us to lose at this point. That wasn't too difficult. Kind of sucks it's at night. I feel like we could see more if it was in the day. Appreciate the beauty of nature. Okay, I'm not going to that bridge. I didn't have enough time there. Oh, actually, it is kind of cutting it close now. Oh, boy. You talked a big game, Jack. You better do this. Brilliant. Made it. Coming in hot. Is this the final one? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Easy. That Piece of cake. Too, too, too bad we won. Really? Why couldn't they just, like, bring me to the cutscene? Why do I have to walk here quite and, something. and press X? Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, really? I would never have guessed that competitiveness runs within your family. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? You could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puzzlemere United. And my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me, 
I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. Oh, so you're addicted. That's not good. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. I don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. I don't know what that means. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. Holy head when harpies. When I'm finished with school, <laughs> I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. Okay, you need to learn how to let things go, lady. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here. Fifth year. Not bad for a Ravenclaw. She's, she's insufferable. But she likes us. Okay, well. I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. Yes, we need to go back to Hogsmeade. And just coincidentally, I think the uh, the moon quest we also wish to complete will also be in Hogsmeade. But luckily, I can just teleport there. Don't need to fly this time around. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I, I believe it, actually. <laughs> I just had to deal with it myself. All right, Abby, hopefully you're still awake. There How's you are. my favorite test flyer? I'm doing pretty well. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well, then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that! Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you! At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade! And what is that, exactly? What will you do after the final upgrade is complete? I aim to make Spintwitches the most sought-after shop in Ogsmead. And I wouldn't mind getting back on a broom myself, just for the thrill of it! Couldn't be more pleased we made headway with the upgrades, proved the naysayers wrong, Made all the hard work worth it. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. It'll probably take him another uh, season to get the upgrade because, yeah, we I think we started this all the way in summer, and here we are, at the end of winter. Ah, <sighs> good for Mr. Weeks. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Yeah. I still had to pay him $4,000 to get that upgrade. He could have given it to us for free. After all, we are helping him out. Okay, let's go talk to... Who is this? Piers Pemberton? He was saying something about Moon doing something sketchy, which makes sense. That guy gives me weird vibes. The first time we saw him, he was drunk on pumpkin juice or something. That's a ghost. All right. I guess that's a normal coincidence here. Well, this guy's acting a little sketchy, too. What's going on here? Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? You, lit you literally sent me an owl. They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So you did create them. I... <sighs> Yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. 
Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Wow. Um, I mean, I think you both kind of suck. But, yeah, the Hogwarts caretaker is kind of important, man. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school. Well. And he's taught me a lot. Um. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, Jack. I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. I thought so. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. Uh, I'm not gonna... Yeah, you're no better than Mr. Moon. I'm not gonna apologize to you. You're both cowards. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. <laughs> Perhaps it's time uh, we both moved on. You sound on. like a nerd. Uh, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Did you learn yours? You literally became the bully, the very thing you swore to destroy. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demiguy statues. Um, were they friends if he was bullying him? It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers! <laughs> uh, yeah, it was him. Yes, him. That's the one. Oh, he could always take a joke, Piers. He's playing with me. Ha! Oh, hasn't changed a bit. Oh, I wonder if he still has the flowing locks. Uh, 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 pigtails. <laughs> clever, clever man. Hmm? I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, uh, I'm going to go and pay a visit to my old friend. Um, that does not sound encouraging. What are you going to do with that visit? Also, you have long hair too, man. Why aren't yours pigtails? what we've accomplished, the final broom upgrade is better than even I expected. Stop by Spintwitches when you can. That was so quick. Okay, well, we might as well do that now since these have both been pretty quick missions and uh, I want to have a fully upgraded broom. Oh, hello again. Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. As always, I have a special prize for you. Special prize, huh? What is that? What are we looking for today? The next upgrade? Holy I crap, that was expensive. I truly enjoyed working with you. Thank you for believing in me. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. That's it? I get a max upgrade. I don't have to do any more flying. I don't finish the quest. I don't get any... Okay. I guess that's it. Well, let's at least test it out and see if it really was worth the 7,500 galleons we just paid. Oh my gosh. Is there... I have unlimited stamina now on my... Uh... I think I do. Okay, this is... Oh, no. Now it's draining slowly. Oh, it went back up. Yeah, I don't think I can run out of stamina. Or at least if I do, it'll be very slowly. So that, that definitely was worth it. Since I used my broom to travel almost everywhere besides the flu flame. Well, if you made it this far, ladies and gentlemen, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. But until then, I shall see you in the next episode.